If you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I've been searching high and low for this particular golf club. Extremely rare, extremely hard to get hold of, and if there are any on eBay, they go for an extortionate amount of money. Not only have I found one, I found two. The day, delivery driving's job number one. I have about five businesses. YouTube, golf coaching, second-hand golf club sales, delivery driver, and uh, that's about it. I can't count husband <laughs> and bring up my baby as a job. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Local key worker here, checking in. Got lots of parcels in the car, 90 to be exact. It's actually quite low for my particular round. Did 140 yesterday, did 90, obviously got 90 today. So I should be done by about one o'clock, two o'clock. Got five collections and then another unofficial collection. I'm gonna go and pick up two golf clubs. These golf clubs are extremely rare, extremely expensive, and I'm very lucky to get hold of both of them for a very good price, 100 pounds, 50 pound each, which is a very good price indeed not only that one of these is going to go into my bag because i sold all my clubs and i'm building a second hand bag for 2021 let's go and drop these off let's go and pick those clubs up get home i'll show you exactly what i've got and we are finished with job number one of the day delivery driving's job number one i have about five businesses youtube golf coaching second hand golf club sales delivery driver and uh, that's about it. I can't count husband <laughs> and bring up my baby as a job. Going to go and pick up those golf clubs now. I'm just going to tell you what they are. Tailor-made RSI UDIs. And not just one of them, two of them. £60 they were advertised. I said I'd pick up both of them for £100. And they agreed, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. I've searched high and low for this driving iron. I used to have it in my bag. I had a two with an X stiff shaft in it. And then it's because it was on a rental agreement with Tailor-made when I used to work at Sanford Springs. I thought, you know what i'll just get next year's one and the reason this thing goes for so much money is because they just didn't bring out any other driving irons for a very long time p790 was the next one i believe and even then it was limited and obviously you've got the p790 newer version of it but driving irons from TaylorMade just were non-existent. You just couldn't get hold of them for a very long time. And you can see here, Golf Clubs for Cash is advertising for £125 for a second-hand one. And I'm going to go and pick up two for £100. The good thing about this is that essentially I'm going to sell the other one for the same cost that I bought both of these for. Which means that the new addition to my golf bag is free. Which is exactly why I make these videos to show you guys the value of buying and selling secondhand clubs to build your dream bag on pretty much nothing. It just dawned upon me whilst editing this video that I don't really want to condone people going out and using Facebook Marketplace at this particular time because of obviously everything that's going on. I kind of put two and two together as I'm out delivering parcels and collecting parcels as a day-to-day -day job and the secondhand golf club business is my business as well. So technically I can't do that work unless I go and pick golf clubs up. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts though. And obviously if the consensus is I shouldn't be doing that, even as a delivery driver, then I completely understand. And obviously I will hold off going and doing any more of that kind of stuff to the end of this lockdown, but I'm not too, it's kind of a gray area because obviously my day job is a delivery driver, picking up parcels and obviously buying and selling second hand clubs is also my business. It's just an interesting one. And obviously I don't know realistically the answer. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Anyway, back into the video. They have been collected. They look seriously good in terms of condition underneath these head covers. I'll get them back home and show you in more detail, but very excited to obviously pick these up. You have no idea how long I've been searching for this particular make of driving on It's just meant to be the fact that this is the first time I'm building my complete bag. As you guys know, I've sold my custom fit set. That was fitted for me five years ago, so it's probably not fitted for me now. But the first time I build a full second-hand series and I get to pick up arguably my most favorite driving iron for such a good deal. There's without any question in my mind, no doubt whatsoever, that I've absolutely outdone myself with the condition and the spec of both of these clubs. So a quick catch up for you guys that might have not seen where the bag is at the moment. PXG driver is at the top of the bag, brand new. This was a deal, I'm not too sure if it's still running, I haven't even checked. 250 pounds, you basically got to custom build your own driver with the 0811 series, whether it's the X or the XF. I never actually got to hit this before lockdown, which is a bit of a shame, but that's the way it is. Nine degree, 6.5 hazardous smoke yellow shaft. 
So that is at the top end of the bag and the only brand new club that will be going in my bag this year, but at 250 pounds, especially as the second hand market where you can see, I'll show you some listings at 0811 drivers that are selling at the moment for about 250 pounds. Ping answer putter, got custom fitted for this probably about five years ago when I was doing my playing ability test and let's be honest, that is not going anywhere because I putt well with it, therefore there's no putter. I mean, you could probably say the same for all the clubs that are coming in and out of my bag, but the putting stroke rarely changes because it's such a finesse movement, it's so small. Whatever your putting stroke is now probably will stay unless you do a lot of grafting and a lot of work on it. Therefore, it makes sense to fit that putter to your height, your length, your lie angle, your movement in terms of swing arc. The rest of the game, however, is your rest of your swings bound to change. Your driver swings bound to change as you get older, less flexible, more flexible, stronger, faster, slower, you name it. So therefore, these can kind of all change. As I said, the custom fitting that I would have had four years ago, I think now, probably, my swings change a lot. I've gained a lot of speed with a long drive, but then probably lost a lot of technique as well. So it'd be interesting to see if I got a club fit today, where I would be at and what I'd be put in. They're as good looking as I remember them. And I have to say the condition is literally perfect. From the Facebook photos you saw earlier, it was basically, I was expecting a lot more wear, a lot more scratches. Essentially these are brand new i mean don't get me wrong there are some scratches and there are some like tiny little nicks in here but there's no major dents and there's no rusting and everything in terms of the decal is there some of the tailor-made lettering has come off but i mean that can be obviously repainted overall the condition of both of these are superb and i'm exceptionally happy as i said 50 pounds each 100 pounds for the pair is a great buy again i might have to reshaft the two iron to something a bit stiffer. This has got NS Pro um, stiff in, well, in both of them, which is a good shaft. And to be honest, I'd probably just go and hit it, see what it's like. I quite like the idea of getting something like a matching hybrid shaft to match my driver in the two iron, as well as a three wood or five wood. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to go down the route of. So all the high end of my bag is going to have the same shaft in it. Is that majorly important? Not really, even at my skill level, just getting something that's going to be quite close to where my swing is, especially the amount I'm practicing, but I think it's going to look the nuts. And what I want to see my bag to look as, even if the cost is going to be a fraction of what a brand new set is, it's going to look so much better than anything else on the market because it's unique, it's original, and it just matches, and obviously it'll suit to my swing, but it'll be one of a kind. No one will ever have this bag, I wouldn't have thought, in the world compared to what I'm going to build. So in terms of traditional driving irons, these are actually quite chunky. I think a lot more chunky than the P790 that's recently come out. And again, I love the P790. I think it's a great driving iron. I'm looking for ultimate forgiveness. You saw the Srixen that I had in the bag. That was big chunky. I'm not looking for something that's going to hit this penetrating low flighted ball into long par threes, long par fives. I'm looking for something just to get me down the fairway. 240 yards of something. I don't care if I hit it out the middle, the toe, the heel. It's just got to get me down there and I'm not out of bounds. That is what these are for and that is why I love driving irons. It suits my eye. It keeps the ball flight down because it's not as big as a hybrid but at the same time you're going to get some level of consistency and dispersion from a driving iron than I would from a five wooden driver. There's a lot of you guys out there that must love your five wood or you hit your driver straight and that is lucky for you. I'm not one of those people. I can bomb the driver, I can get it up there, my ball speed's definitely high. Straight is my downfall and that's exactly what these are for. It doesn't matter what you spend, 40 pounds, 60 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, Whatever it is, when it comes to a driving iron, the key factors is the shaft and the loft. The less loft, the higher the ball speed, the further that ball is technically going to go, and the lighter the shaft, so graphite shaft. Don't be afraid to put a graphite shaft, even if it's stiff, regular, X-stiff, into your driving iron, because again, that's gonna help your club head speed. The only downfall of this whole process is I don't actually get to hit any of it until probably the bag is complete. But again, I'm going to trust my knowledge. And even if some clubs don't work, this is the beauty of this whole process. And what I want you guys to learn is that if you go and get custom fitted for something and you go for one session, 
for one hour or two hours and you were swinging great that day and that was a random session that you just seemed to hit everything well, you were flexible, you eat eaten well, no aches and pains and then you go and get a whole bag built for you and then you wake up the next day, next week, just worked a very long week at work, been at the desk a lot and now those clubs don't work for you. The problem with that is that when you go and try and resell those, you've lost an exceptional amount of money. I can build my whole bag and if something doesn't work, I can sell it for exactly what I got it for and chop and change it for exactly what I need. So two iron in the bag. We've got a putter, we've got a driver. I need to get irons, I need to get wedges. And my thought process behind that, I'm gonna get the irons first, I believe, before I get the wedges, because I want the wedges to match nicely to the set of irons and how they can blend nicely. And then I need to get something to gap between the driver and the two iron, which is more than likely gonna be a five wood, I think. I think. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.